didn't know he was already working on her. <laughs> Why was I crying in the street car? Because I got in the street car. He rented out a street car that is for the public. The street car is public for transportation. First of all, I don't, I don't know if y'all know what a street car is. A street car is for the public. He rented out a street car. It says special in the front, which means nobody can get on. He passing them everybody that's waiting on the street car because they can't get on the street car. The side of it say happy anniversary. Get on the street car. They got roses hanging from the ceiling. They got all our pictures from our whole relationship on the street car from the front to the back of the whole street car. That's why I was crying because he, he, listen, this man really listens. Like I told him probably months ago, like, what it was July? I told him in July that my favorite childhood memory was the street car. I'm going to school, me hanging on canal, like, and I mentioned the street car, and he never rolled a street car. So for him to take time and a street car, girl, you know what you call to rent out a street car? Girl, that's public. No, don't play about that. So that's why I was crying. That's why I was like, like, just know that a man like listen and kind of like everything you tell him, he put it into a surprise. Like, that's a big deal. Right, a street car is like a city bus. <laughs> I would have been like, the fuck? I'm going to be late for work. <laughs> <laughs> there are people waiting at every stop. they just passing people. Up. How do you get the measurements for your ring? Well, we were the same ring size. First of all, he asked my ring size on the first date. Let's talk about that. He asked me my ring size on a first date. I said, I wear eight. He said, oh, I wear eight too. Like, we wear the same size. Hey, best. We wear the same size in, um, in ring. We are half a size away from shoes. So, he already knew my ring size. Oh, and, and I threw it out that one time um, when, when I was getting styled by my stylist. Um, I think it was last week when we was in Atlanta. I said, he got me this ring and this ring too small. I wear eight trying to throw it out there but he was already he already got the ring made by then <laughs> be sure to like share and subscribe When I, it wasn't given hotel until we got to the front desk. It's a, it's a confusing place. You don't know what the f it is, honestly. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a, it was just a spot. So, um, and when I, when I went in the ballroom, uh, I saw it, I said, yeah, I'm Brittany kept the secret. She kept the secret good. Listen, one thing I hate for a whole is the is the fuck up a surprise. I am very very listen. I love surprises. I I I am so big on surprises because I am a surpriser. So I I love 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 surprises. So if somebody 
come a surprise for me. It really pisses me off. Like, and that, that's why, that's why, that's why I got to college because at first I was gonna do the street car. I already the street car that I already knew I was gonna do that. It was been done. And then, but I was gonna propose when I got off the street car. So you was gonna get in on one side, and then the other side was gonna have a sign that said, "Will you marry me?" On the other side of the street car. Oh. So, I was gonna come down canal. But you was on the wrong side. Yeah, I was. But, <laughs> but I had I already, had, I, already had, I already had the collars by then. I already okay. everything was already planned by then, so it, it was finished. I, I, I changed it. But that was the original idea to, to make you go inside one of the street cars, get in on that side, and then we ride it down canal and stop by like the root Chris out for the restaurant and have when we stop have everybody on the other side. So when you get off, you, you you know when you got off or whatever like that, you was gonna see your family. I was gonna tell you turn around, then you was gonna read it out. Mm. But I knew once you saw your family on the streetcar, you was gonna know what was going on. Like if you got off the streetcar, I mean like once you stopped at the streetcar and you looked out the window and saw your family, out there, yeah, I knew you was gonna know. So it wouldn't have been, and then you wasn't gonna have time for everything to hit you at one time. You was gonna be walking there, like what's going on, kind of borderline crime, and then you kind of already seen what's going on, and then you was gonna read the sign. And then it was gonna happen, but it wasn't gonna hit you all at one time. So I had to find some place to what you know. You walk in on everything at one time. And that was so. That's the reason why the columns didn't work. And then decorating the columns was you, 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 it was so beautiful. Yeah, but you they they moved a lot of shit. Oh, did they? That don't look like that. Oh, I've never been there, so I don't. No, that the decoration don't look, was so pretty. Yeah, that don't look nothing like that. They moved the furniture out, like moving company, move out. It was so pretty. Listen, like this is um so hey so here's the thing, so the the idea for the lot so my so Razor so okay so me and Razor got into it the night before the anniversary right, the night before um the night before uh whatever right. So we got into it the night before because Razor is real big on like he don't want you to do nothing for him and that's so aggravating, right? It's so aggravating because like I don't I'm so big on surprises, I'm not gonna tell you I got a surprise for you. I'm just gonna say, Oh look, we gotta go do this and then it's gonna be the surprise, right? So I never told him I had a surprise for him, so he was like, um I'm like, look, we gotta go do something. Uh, we gotta bring Leah to school um uh, on Wednesday morning and, and then I gotta go pass by Lou to get her dance stuff on the West Bank or whatever. He was like, uh, all right, cool. And then that night, he um he went and picked up his children and then he stayed in in our other house. And I'm like, why the f would you stay in the other house when I told you we gotta go pick up a dance thing? He was like, babe, you can go pick up the dance stuff by yourself. Like that. I'm like, I'm standing around like that. I'm not gonna pick up no dance stuff. I'm going to surprise you. But, and so I, I, I had to tell him I had a surprise for him just for him to be on time to come back to Slidell so we could go and uh, and, and set us up and surprise together. So I'm like, why would you? So I'm on, I'm on the phone with Brittany crying, man. Like, this is really about the fuck my surprise because he went to go to say So I, so once I told him I had a surprise, he was like, you don't, you're not supposed to be giving me a surprise. Like, like this anniversary is about you. I'm like, no, this anniversary is about us. Like, the anniversary is about us. Like, he would tell you all the time, don't do nothing for him. Don't, like, don't surprise him. Don't, just, like, he likes surprises, but he really, he would be okay if you won't give him nothing. Right? And so the thing is, I really feel like this whole year of our relationship, I really held back with buying him stuff and doing stuff for him because of previous issues I've I, I, I been in. And, and I, I always say, like, I, I don't drag my my old my old relationships to my new ones but i feel like i did so much in previous relationships with buying stuff buying gifts doing this doing that and when i got with ray i said i'm not doing that anymore like i'm not doing that like i feel like um no man do that for me unless i do it for him so i'm gonna wait for a man to do it for me and he was doing it so much so much so much to where i, I started to realize damn i don't really do a lot for reason like i don't really do as much as i used to do in the past for people that didn't even, that didn't even deserve it so so the the first surprise was gonna be i was gonna give them 12 gifts for 12 months because it's gonna be 12 different gifts leading up to the last gift right and brenda was like oh bitch that's too much <laughs> like oh fuck, why don't you know this so i'm like man like i really like i was telling her i'm like friend i really didn't do 
as much because I'm I'm a I'm a natural giver. Like I give to my family, my friends, my my man, my children. Like I give to to anybody I love. So the fact that I wasn't doing as much for him, I felt like I held back because of because of previous relationships, which means I dragged my previous relationships into this relationship. And I felt like he didn't deserve that because he was buying so much stuff for me, doing so much stuff for me. Like even if I take him on dates, I don't I don't pay for these. I never pay for a date. He paid for the dates. Like I could say I'm taking him on a date, but he's still paying. Like he feel like I shouldn't have to pull out my card. I shouldn't have to go on my purse. Like I didn't. I've never been. I never in my in my life been in a relationship to where I don't even worry about bringing my purse, uh, bringing my my wallet. Like I've never been. I never felt safe enough to not bring my wallet. Ever ever in my life, I never felt like. Like, oh I, oh, I don't need my bag. Oh, I don't need my wallet. I don't need this, I don't need that. Because I just may end up paying for something. And, like, even if I come up with ideas for a day, if we do something, this is still going to pay. And I don't even, I, like, I stopped arguing with him, like, probably, like, six months ago. Because it's aggravating. Like, I, I'm, like, he, he not used to really, I'm not saying he not used to, but he not, like, he don't know how to, well, yeah, okay. He's not used to. He's not used to getting anything. He's not used to being spoiled. He's not used to being to being gifted with stuff because he really deserves all that shit, dog. And I don't think he he realized how. I don't see how he don't want to get gifts and don't, and and don't want to be surprised and don't want to be. But it's it's not that he don't want to. It's just that he ain't used to the shit. If he ain't used, like I'm trying to break him to like, why why would you think I wasn't gonna do nothing for our anniversary? Like why like like we do something. Every so basically, my idea was every 13th of the month, I wanted to do something because that was our one month anniversary, right? But I didn't want to tell him because I didn't want to make it seem like, well, I want to do something every month. Because, but to me, in my mind, I want to do something every month because I ain't have a relationship that lasted over over three months. You know, like my longest relationship was with, with Leah Father. So every, every relationship after that was literally, and before that was like three months. So I'm like, well, I want after three months pass. I said we celebrate every 13 of the month, but I ain't want to say it because I ain't want to sound like I'm still worrying about the past, right? So he was like, so then he came out and said, oh, we should do something every 13 of the month. I'm like, oh, that's perfect because I, I was thinking the same thing, but I ain't want to say it, you know. So that's why we was celebrating every every 13 of the month because for me it's like I'm I'm ecstatic that that I'm still into a man after three months. I still like this man after three months. I still love this man after three months. Like, nothing has changed since I met this man. So, I was just happy to, to celebrate every 13 of the month because I was just happy that I was still in a relationship and I was happy that I was, you know, like, like just still in love and still infatuated with this person. Like, even after a year, like, I'm still infatuated with this man. So, um... And I just felt like I didn't really give my all in the one year, like how I did with with other people that really did not deserve. And I feel like he everything I did with other people, I really should have did for him. But so the lot, like he 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 built the house before and and flipped it. So the lot, and I had the I, the reason why I did the on site the on site contract because I wanted him to understand that this gift is for you this gift is going in your name like i probably didn't bought somebody something but i i ain't put it in your name i probably didn't then didn't, didn't bought a call but bitch it's still mine because it's in my name but and so i wanted him to understand like this i want this on-site contract because this this lot is going into your name this lot is for you i have no ties to this lot don't say we are building anything we are we are not building nothing he is he is building all this himself like whatever he want to do whatever he want to do to however he want the house to be and if he want to sell it or keep it that's on him you know so that was the whole purpose of the of the um the the on-site contract and i just i just can't believe that he's not that he he wants to be like oh no but i mean i i, I hate when he said that because he, he he deserved that and and so much more like this this man has done so much for me and helped me in so many ways like he even really made me realize i a lot of the times i be the problem and i didn't even and I, i've never i've never really like sat down and realized bitch you the problem you know like i never really sat down and realized like when I get mad, I get mad. I don't want to talk. I don't want. I don't want to be around you. This and all that. And that's not good. What if you trying to spend the rest of your life with somebody? Like you can't. Once you get married, ain't no you. You, you can't be around them. Like you still gotta be around each other. Like you still gotta 
you gotta move on like you got kids around you got all this all this going on whatever so like he really taught me like like you don't know how to communicate like you gotta learn how to communicate like if you upset about something like you need to tell me what's wrong so we can get past it this that and all that so it's just a lot that I've, I've 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 learned in this relationship. A lot that I had to teach myself. Like, don't don't do that. Like, this man don't deserve that. This man don't. This man don't like this. Like, don't don't chase this man away. <laughs> you, Brittany, Brittany, stop bending. You surprised? <laughs> they knew how to say it. <laughs> no, both of the fucking last fools. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. What's going on? I have no fucking idea. Is Gibbons gonna miss the flight? Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm about to spread it back around and act that dude is like a fool. Right. Both of them is a fool. I don't know what the fuck. Never saw that shit. Girl, fuck me. <laughs> Real talk. I, like, I didn't even realize how, you know, how argumentative I am and, and how, like, like something, like, just for me, I just shut down when I'm upset. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it until I calm down because I don't want to say nothing I don't mean but not talking about it just just create more problems I know this with with me and Ray so like he taught me how to how to be more expressive in this relationship and I was happy for that no Ray said is one year younger than me definitely was cause listen I always felt like man they always f***ing over me they always treat me like this that and all that and I'm like well bitch I do be fussing I do be fighting I do be cursing and I'm like he ain't shit. I do be this, I do be that. <laughs> so I had to realize. But I also did. I, I feel like I feel like a, a man kind of kind of put his put his foot down in a relationship too. Like like I don't I don't call raise the bitches and hoes. Like like I don't call raise like ain't shit. Cause I everything that I'm I'm known for for saying to somebody I, I can't even say that to him because he's not that. Like and just knowing that I I have no reason to disrespect him verbally. So, but that goes with a man putting his feet down, too. Because you call him a bitch and a hoe, and, and he liked that shit. And then that, the whole relationship, you a bitch and a hoe. So, but um, first time I call raise a bitch, he's knocked my phone out of my hand, and my phone broke. <laughs> Why Brittany walk off like nothing happened, though? No, Brittany's so dirty. Ain't nobody helped me or nothing. It's Knocked my phone out of my hand so hard. Phone broke. I'm talking about everybody look, look and just turned their head. <laughs> Dog, the whole phone broke. Brittany didn't even help a bitch. Just why him all just walked off. <laughs> I said, okay, so yeah, I ain't gonna do that no more. <laughs>